I know I have a lot of shame and, and grief buried deep within me. And when I took a look on the inside and go to my childhood, I go to a time where I feel like I was sexually abused. But when I go to this memory, I start to question if it's a real memory or made up. How can I tell the difference? And does it matter? How can I heal this grief within? First of all, it doesn't matter. Because you guys, at this point, all your timelines are bumping into each other. So one thing I want to share with you guys about the Akashic Records is that if you're thinking about it, it's in your records. It's in your vibration. It's in it within you. And now your ego can argue and be like, well, no, I just saw a movie where so-and-so got raped. It wouldn't stay in your collective mind after if it wasn't vibrating inside of you. If it wasn't also your story somewhere, it wouldn't affect you at all because you inherently are always neutral, always, unless there's something in your vibrational field that resonates with what you saw from either a good place or a bad place, a negative place or a positive place. So the thing about molestation and sexual abuse that's interesting, being someone who experienced a lot of it, was the disassociation part that happens. You know, when you're a child until you're seven, you're in the theta brain anyways. So you're not in a coherent place of grounded beta defensive mechanisms. You're not, you're not like the the in you know you're not in a state of I know who I am I know what I want I know what I want to do like you're more in this kind of adaptability space where you're kind of going in and out of body and empaths and sensitives are really good at popping in and out of their bodies because their field is so big right and empathy feels very intense so a lot of times when we feel empathy and compassion or pain will kind of pop out and when I say that, I kind of mean like your soul kind of like pops out and doesn't go on the emotional journey that your body is going on. It kind of disassociates with what the body is experiencing, right? The body is experiencing it from now an unconscious place, which is underneath the surface. And there's like a disconnect in, in being aware of what's happening. And it's, this is a survival mechanism. It's a disassociation tool. And anyone who has been abused or sexually abused has the tendency to jump in and out during that because it doesn't feel good, right? To be, to be, you know, to have your essence um, perpetrated, right? So when I'm taking people back into their timelines, they're not remembering for a reason, right? Because it's like, oh, I don't want to remember that because then my life will be this story and I don't want my life to be this story. So I'm going to be this story right? And so they choose whatever story they want, and then they overlap that story onto the other one. It's almost like if you took a tape and you just kept recording stuff on top of it, on top of it, on top of it, eventually you're going to stop remembering what actually happened. And, and you're right, it doesn't actually matter if it happened or not, because your perception is reality. But if you're carrying a lot of shame and guilt, you have got to get to the root of why you're carrying shame and guilt. And that's the only thing that matters. The only thing that matters is where it is, what it is, how it is, how we can unplug it, how we can un uninstall it. So you even asking this question, these questions is really amazing because you can, you can access your subconscious by asking questions of yourself. You cannot ask your subconscious questions by asking someone else unless you're under hypnosis to go into your subconscious because then they're going to filter it with their subconscious unless you're in a session okay now I do a lot of conscious hypnosis but it, I'm asking your subconscious questions the same way that you could do it right like take me to a time where I felt shame take me to a time when I felt guilt you see how I'm not directing the story and going, well, it must be this. It must be that time when my uncle came over. Because you can't remember where you buried this story on purpose because it doesn't serve you. So you're not going to be able to find it by just looking around through your logical mind because your logical mind has put it in a place where you can't find it. It's almost like, have you guys ever like been like, okay, I'm going to put my keys right here because I know I won't lose them here. Boom. And then you put them somewhere where you don't normally do it because you think you're going to put them somewhere on purpose. 
so you can come back to it later and then you forget, right? Everyone's done it. The same thing happens with trauma. That's why people are like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. My childhood is wonderful. And I'm like, really? Well, why are you getting beat up in your relationship? You know, why do you have no money, right? Why do you have autoimmune disease? And they're like, well, I don't know because I just caught it. No, it's coming from an earlier similar experience where you lost your power, you were disassociated, you were disempowered, you rejected your physical body, you moved into the forward future to run away from it. And now ever since you've been running away from it, okay? So ask questions like, take me to a time when I didn't feel safe in my body. Take me to a time um, that I felt shame over my body. And it's funny, as you ask your body to take you to these times, it may not pop up right away what you're expecting. It might take you to a completely different story that has nothing to do with your logical understanding of shame, but it might take you to another place of omission or another place. And then what happens is you start to go down this rabbit hole. Now, what I do is I ask a series of questions and get my kind of my hypnosis laid out. And then I take them specifically to each place that I want to take them to and tell the truth comes up because your body actually knows exactly what happened to you. And I will tell you that I do see a lot of um, safety issues in your timeline. Safety issues do not come into your life by you being safe. Okay. So safety issues, shame and guilt is keeping you safe from moving forward because moving forward hasn't been safe. So I would look at that because it's definitely there's definitely been some inappropriate behavior in your timeline where you disassociated. So you don't remember it on a conscious level, but it's also coming from a couple of different past lives that you don't ne actually need to go into, but you will need to be fully responsible for this incarnation, okay?